don't even have our microphones today, Bob. We're going to have to speak up. I've been over here all day. What you working on? Custom roof rack for a JK. Mm. Oh, oh wait, there's there's nobody here yet. Let's, let's give him a little bit of time. <clears throat> Hi, David. David's always the first one. He's so good. Got some others coming on finally. See everybody, Bob does work at the shop. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anybody store their Max tracks up there before. Bob put their max tracks on before. Oh, Hi, Aaron. Yours go up there too? No, mine are on the side of the RLD. <laughs> David, he says, yes, Bob does work at the shop. David's got to be getting excited about this Jeep project, huh, David? So, now we got a few people on there. Hi, Robert. How, is it warm and sunny down in Florida today? <clears throat> so, we're, I can't quit. I'm gonna finish what you started. David is you so excited. Yes. So, yeah, we're doing a custom rack to adapt the 230 Kabari tent to a JK as low as profile as possible. So we put the rhino rack backbone system in it. Oops, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna walk around and show you. Built the mounts directly to the rhino rack pylons or pillars, mounts, whatever you want to call them. Um, so and we could keep the tent as absolutely as short as possible. So will it fit in the garage? Eight foot door, seven foot no. Yeah, eight foot door. Okay. Yeah. It barely fit in a seven foot door with just the AEV uh, platform and mounts. Oh, Robert. Who builds JKs anymore? Oh, Robert. Lots of people build JKs. You're just spoiled. So. People without Robert's checkbook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. This Jeep will be leaving on Friday with Bob going on the trip to Arizona, which is what they're getting down to the wire to get that done. Oh, there's the microphones. <laughs> I'm sorry, we didn't have microphones when we started. Well, does it work if we put them on now? I think so. Okay. Okay. Well, that'd be good. We'll get them on. <clears throat> I, when I was out running around, I should have stopped and picked them up. Yeah, and I meant to be over here earlier, but a customer came in that's bringing yeah. Jeep for us to spray. Ah, Lindsay's bringing us our microphones. You, you will all soon be able to hear us a little bit better. We have to air down the gladiator with the Kabari, Beth says. Huh? Beth said they have to air down the gladiator with the tent on it yeah, to well, get it in. I'm going to plug this in. There you go. All right, speak, Bob. See if they can hear you. How's that? All right. That can everybody hear us a little bit better? Give a thumbs up, David, if it's better. Okay, mics are working. Thanks, David. All right. Thank you. All right. So, ooh. No. All right. So let's let's walk around a little bit. We got some jeeps in the shop. Yeah, sloppy seconds is here. Oh, 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 <laughs> Beth, did you hear what he called that? He called it sloppy seconds. Uh, we are trying to get this ready because it's going to go back to Minnesota, right? Yep. Yep. It's going to get driven up there. So what do you got to do? Uh, just put everything back together. Yeah. This, 
this Jeep was a donator for um, Beth's build, all the drivetrain, and we just put all of her stock, Sport, Sahara, whatever the hell it was, Dana 30, Dana 44, back, under, back it, under it, just so it would roll. So you can take it to... And we never made it drivable. We just made it so we could roll it out and get it out of here. So now we're just nutting, bolting, and... Yeah. You know, getting Putting it, it ready together. to drive. Yeah. Easy stuff. Yeah. That'd be good. So, so uh, for those of you that don't know, this is Snake Eater. That's the name. Was. It was Snake Eater. What sloppy Seconds. Now Bob's calling it Sloppy Seconds. <laughs> That's not nice, Bob. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what's everyone's opinion on this one? Come on. You guys give me either a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a what. What do you think? of this jeep uh, uh, um, i'm not too big of a fan of a pink jeep but apparently once upon a time i went digging uh where did it's i see red. it was red yeah. i think they under the hood you can see the where hood, it was it red was where we saw it. they did a nice good shape uh, did a nice job of doing a color change what year do you think it is mm, i think it's a 2000 somebody says wtf is that a girl's jeep or is it a guy's jeep do you know well the fire department captain brought it in, but I think oh, it's yeah. his wife's. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, there's even a little pink grab handle. <coughs> if you like pink, Aaron says he likes it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's different. Well, it definitely stands out. I mean, not even, we used to I, have a pink Jeep around town. We did? Yeah. Oh, well, it was a little darker pink. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. More Back magenta the than... But this was in for what? Just regular maintenance yeah, kind yeah. of stuff? Yeah, needed a oh, radiator and thermostat. She, and she's all into bling. Look, there's... I probably shouldn't show her license plate, but she got bling all around her license plate holder. It's, it's in pretty good shape, though. Yeah. Not, not any rust or anything, so... Just mechanical thermostat yeah. and radiator and... What do we have here? 76 Ford Ranger long box. Yeah, look at look at the bed on this, guys. They just don't make trucks with this big bed anymore. That's Last time old. it was driven was 2011. So he towed it in to see if we get it running again. 2011. Yep. Been sitting for over 10 years. Yep. Yeah. And so, what'd you find? Uh, uh, something with the gas tank was going yeah, there. The, the fuel system was fully contaminated. Well, sure, when something sits that and then it does. These old trucks still have the gas tank behind the seat. Oh. Um, and the bottom was completely rusted out of that, so we got one coming from it LMC. There, is it hard to open? No. I, I, I thought that, um, what, did, what did you tell me about the power steering cooler yeah. that was on it? Factory. Yeah, this this thing's kind of cool. I didn't. Not many cars have. Well, first of all, yeah, look does. at all that room. Look at all that room. There's lots of room in there. Can anybody identify what engine that is? What engine? Hmm. Let's see if anybody knows. Who's watching that might know what that engine is. Hmm. Hmm. Nobody's responding yet. So it's a FE block. Brian so this is a 360. Standard. Yep, it's a 360. 360. They came 360, 390, yeah, 427. Said 351. Nope, too new. This is too old for that. This got a FE in it. FE. 360 FE. Yep. Yeah. And is it running? Did oh, you yeah. get it? Yeah, I see it runs. there's a, a new battery there. Yep. Uh, Robert says it needs an LS swap. Not everything needs an LS swap, Robert. Nope. Of course, then we got a hoopty in here. And hey, that's an Overlander in disguise, an all-wheel drive oh. Astrovan. All-wheel drive Astrovan. Hey. You could, yeah. You could live in a van could, down by the river. Yeah, that's a desirable thing now, Bob, to live in a van down by the river. You know, that one's kind of in a rough shape, and then. I don't know what we're doing to this one. It's just this. A, it's just a GMC, you know. Yep. That's what Car we're working stuff, on today. Fixing it. Yeah, yeah. So, <coughs> you know, out in the parking lot, there was a few more Jeeps, but I'm not going out there, guys, because it's stinking windy again today, and it's cold. Tanner's working on living in a van down by the river. Yep. He'd like that. You can live in a trailer, Tanner, down by the river. <coughs> 
Did he go get his trailer yet? No, not, he's going in a couple days. And we haven't done anything new to T-Rex either, right? No. No, I've been trying to get this one weeks. ready to go to Arizona. Oh, it's under, it's pretty under the hood in that one now too, right? Yeah. David got new new wiring and... It's not done yet because no. it's, it's my afternoon project is to finish all of that because I had to get all the lights put on before I could wire them. Oh, but, yeah. You know. So we got some... That's all fancy over there. Yeah, dual battery system, switch pros, oh. proper terminal blocks. Uh-huh. So, yeah. A little so more his tidy. New, his lights will work and everything's yeah. going to work. No switch more pros lights, is on maybe? the A-pillar. I'm going to show them that. That's new, his switch pro? Oh, that's what he's got. I think we have this in our Gladiator, right? We do. Yeah, that works out it's pretty good. It's a little good. different mounting, but you know, it's already... Come on, Ethel, wake up. Oh, there, there it goes. goes. Oh. So. so, what else we got? You and I got to work on packing you up in the next couple days. Because you're leaving Friday, right? I am. Friday, meeting up with an all-guys trip this time. Yep. We got Chad, David, Russell, Wayne, Wayne Matt, Chris. Matt, Chris. Should be a good all-guys trip. What else is exciting? So next week, will you have service or will I be doing TNT Tuesday all by myself? On Tuesday, we will be dead smack in the middle of the Sonoran Desert, so probably not. Probably won't have service. Okay, so I'll be doing it next week. <clears throat> so, unless we come up with something better. <laughs> what else we got? That's about all I know for this yep. week. You know, give them a little peek what's going on in the shop. I am still searching for a mechanic. That's yeah. a never-ending project. Anybody you wants show to show them the Ooh. custom antenna mounts? Custom antenna mounts. Oh, oh yeah. Here. That's you get to get full whatever you want when you come to T and T. And there's ditch lights that go or a pillar lights that go there yet. That's uh -huh. part of my uh -huh. install and wiring for this afternoon. David's going to be the cameraman on this trip? Yeah, some. Okay. Some. That'll be good. Since your sidekick's not going with you. Yeah. Yeah. So, on that... Lunch. Lunch. Yeah. I don't see anybody has any questions or anybody has anything needs addressing this week. So, sign them off. Say goodbye. See ya uh, in two weeks. Yeah. I'll see you next week, guys.